and the inside is, well, the inside of the steer. Hey everyone, hope you are having a great day. Brian from Hanks Belts here, and today I'm going to talk about our unlined extra thick solid one piece belts. We get some questions on why the backs on these are not as finished as the front, and that's what I'm going to cover today. So, the majority of people have probably only ever seen department store belts made from processed leather. I myself have never seen a real full grain leather belt in a department store. They just don't sell them there. So people think that is what every belt should look like. If someone had only seen Pringle potato chips, they could think something was wrong when they were handed a bag of real potato chips. Hank's belts are made from full grain hides just like this here. Let me come over and show you. The front, the smooth front is the outside of the steer, and the inside is, well, the inside of the steer. For our solid belts that are not two pieces of leather, we use these hides as they come straight from the tannery. Many companies shave this backside down to smooth out the backside, but this removes material and thins the belt down, all for the sake of cosmetics only. We use the full thickness of the hide for the most durable belts. The inside texture can vary from batch to batch, and some are smoother than others, uh, but just wear it. And with use, the backside will smooth down nicely and become as smooth as the front. So, over here now in department store belts, there are always two pieces of super thin processed leather layered together. Let me go over and show you this. So most use, see if we get in here, yep, yeah, most use a cardboard type filling in between the layers to beef it up like this here. This is the filling in a department store belt. The leather outer they use, which is here, it's the outside, um, is actually it's paper thin. This, this, is, this is just so thin, it's like a piece of paper. Then they back it with this bonded leather, which basically means fake leather, and so it looks nice and smooth on both sides, and this is what most people are used to seeing, not real leather belts like ours. So for a smooth finish back, you'd want a two-layer belt, and most of our premium belts are made this way. Take our Montana Bison belt here, for example. This is one of our best sellers, and the back is as nice as the front because we use two pieces of Bison leather, and the inside of the hide uh, you know, which I showed you on this, is covered up, resulting in a nightly, nicely finished backside, although it is at a higher cost due to the increased labor to craft it. So for thick, solid, one-piece leather belts like our Gunner belt, our Extreme belt, our Old World belt, we leave the back as is for the most thickness and durability. Wear it, though, and it will smooth down and break in with use. Personally, I love the character of the unlined leather belts, and the way they wear in. They're my favorite ones in the line. If you want a more refined inside belt, pick a belt like our Montana Bison belt, our Premier belt, our Esquire, or our Highland. These are double layer belts and the inside is as nice as the outside and they are absolutely gorgeous. So I hope this video was helpful and explained this a bit. Uh, I appreciate you watching and again my name is Brian from Hanks Belts and I'll be talking to you again soon.